Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's spatial snippet where we're going to be talking about the content development behind the IO Proteome Atlas for Geomics. My name is Erin Piazza. I'm an Associate Director of Bioinformatics here at Nanostring. And it's part of the uh, pleasure of my job that I get to work across a number of our different panel products and introduce now our newest panel for Geomics to you. So let's talk first about the cancer proteome. There is a wealth of information about the cancer transcriptome, but unfortunately, proteomic data sets are a little bit harder to find. Um, RNA protein correlation is actually quite a bit less than most people would expect. If you do kind of a data-driven analysis of RNA protein uh, correlation, you find about a median of about 50% uh, for breast cancer, which is, again, far less than people would think. But little attention is given to that when we uh, when we decide on how we were going to run our experiments and when we're choosing between proteomics and transcriptomics. And there are a number of pathways that are primarily regulated at the post-transcriptional level, which means that as much as we'd like to do transcriptomics, there's quite a bit we're missing um, by doing our experiments only that way. So for this panel, we've tried our best to undertake both a data-driven and a curated approach to make sure that not only are we getting the most informative proteins in cancer, we're also getting the ones that are of most interest to researchers. So we undertook first the data-driven portion of our strategy. And this is something that we employ across all of our panel products wherever we can, because we know that data-driven metrics lead to better data in the end for you. We utilized a single data set from the Clinical Proteomic Tumor Analysis Consortium, otherwise known as CPTAC, which has over a thousand samples and eight tumor types with a kind of broad array of, of sample considerations amongst those tumor types. They're not all biased towards one particular type of cancer or one, um, one particular tissue. We employed a curated set of 77 different cancer relevant annotations that cover all of the hallmarks of cancer. Those different annotations gave us a full list of possible targets to consider from the proteome data that we had. Then we used a data-driven metric to choose the most informative genes for each, or in this case, genes proteins um, from each pathway uh, in order to cover the most relevant aspects of the proteome. And in the end, we derived a, a data-driven list that covered about 90% of the variability in the entire proteome's worth of data, which is uh, quite impressive. So the content, as we mentioned, has 77 cancer pathways covering all of those hallmarks of cancer, um, having a good percentage of content relevant to um, IO-relevant pathway, pathways like avoiding immune destruction, um, and tumor promoting inflammation, as well as other uh, really important hallmarks like invasion and metastasis and metabolism. So in addition to uh, the data-driven part, we then employed expert curation, which is always a relevant part of our, our process in building panels. So the ABCAM uh, catalog has a, an amazingly comprehensive set of IO antibodies. And that is the set that we chose from in order to get the actual antibodies to cover the targets that we chose. So our data-driven list was uh, crossed with their catalog as much as possible. We covered every one of those targets that we could. And then we chose additional high value targets to ensure that we had complete coverage of all of the relevant aspects of IO biology. We also focused in our curation efforts on well-published targets and post-translational modifications, as those are particularly areas where it's impossible uh, to measure that same phenomenon in the RNA. So in the end, we cover about five, 570 protein targets crossing cancer, metabolism, infectious disease, organ transplant, epigenetics, autoimmunity, and post-translational modifications, all things that are really relevant to the full IO space, as well as to other translational uh, topics related to IO. So with that, I'm gonna thank you for your attention and look forward to seeing all of the data that you'll create with our IPA panel.